thought this was it. It felt like a moment of hope. Another comeback to help them secure their first European Championship in six tries. It turns out it was just a rare spark that quickly faded. Spain, with their beautiful play, knew how to make us hate them for the second time in a row in the Euros. When I saw my team fall again on the verge of glory, many fans must have felt a mixture of disappointment and compassion for the players who fought hard for the flag. I wanted to see the face of our poor coach, regretfully holding his head. The glory that should have been ours has eluded us for so long. The team has been on a journey spanning more than half a decade, coming close to joy, pride, and recognition, only to see it slip away due to crucial decisions by the coach. When he took on this role, he did enough, but eventually, pity turned into blame. Fans of the team would probably celebrate if he gave a speech in the press room, listing achievements like for World Cups, to Euro runner-ups, and aiding hours as the second-ranked team. But knowing he had a squad worth a billion euros, the job might be more stressful than being a president or flying into space. With a squad worth a billion and a half euros, packed with top players from prestigious leagues and Champions League winners, the team was a candidate for the Ballon d'Or. Yet, despite having such talent, success only comes when you can unite the stars and implement an outstanding strategy. The coach has to read matches quickly and take responsibility for their decisions. Carrot Sao did well in the latter part by taking responsibility but continuous mistakes were made. In the 2018 World Cup, the team's progress to the semi-finals amazed fans, yet they were held back by their own flaws. After taking an early lead against Croatia, they failed to extend it and eventually lost. Captain Harry Kane reflected on their missed opportunities and the enduring pain of falling short. The pain lasted for years, as Harry Kane's generation, including John Stones, sought to win a major title for the first time in half a century. The team played most of their games at Wembley, conceding just one goal until the final. But that goal marked the beginning of their downfall. Leonardo Bonucci equalized, and in the penalty shootout, the coach's decision to sub in inexperienced players like Jadon Sanko and Marcus Rashford led to their defeat. Criticism fell on the coach for his conservative choices and for placing the penalty burden on Young, and experienced players like Bukayo Saka, who missed the decisive shot. Despite this, the coach retained his position and led the team to Qatar for the World Cup. Though they played better, the 52-year-old still faced criticism. The team's performance, particularly against the USA in the group stage, raised doubts about their strategy. Heading into Euro 2024, the team, bolstered by superstars who shone at club level, faced high expectations. Players like Phil Foden and Harry Kane were among the best, yet the team struggled with the same issues. Inconsistent performances and a controversial match against Slovenia led to a temporary success before facing Spain in the final. Spain's beautiful play outshined the team's defensive mistakes. The coach's decisions, like substituting Phil Foden to late and not capitalizing on Spain's injuries, led to their downfall. Despite scoring early in the second half, the team slowed down and Spain took advantage, leading to another defeat. Fans and critics alike recognized that to become a great team, changes were necessary. After this hero, it was clear the coach needed to step down, despite his contributions over the last eight years. Only then could the nation, proud to be the home of football, hope to reach the heights they aspire to.